organisms are all held by plants they are amazing they are mighty what's up guys today we are going to be doing class 10 science we're going to be talking about the chapter life processes and we're going to be talking about transportation in plants when we are doing transportation in plants there are two sorts of transportations that we need to be aware of there is the transportation of water and minerals and then there's the transportation of food in the plants Water and minerals is transported up by the roots. It goes all the way up to the tallest part of the tree, and the food is basically transported by the from the leaves where where it's made to all the other parts where the food is needed. So let's get into it. So to understand how water and minerals are transported up, all you need to understand is this. This this is the xylem. It pretty much looks like this. It is rigid. It is made up of cellulose and lignin. Uh, it's quite hard and it's hollow. We have the, or the cells over here, they have no cell membranes towards the end. That's why it's one structure and the water goes up by the suction force, however, is not provided by somebody actually sucking on top. The suction force, however, is provided by the leaves. Uh, the leaves actually leave a lot of water vapor out. They use up as much water that they need for photosynthesis. All the excess water is actually uh, transpired out by the stomata on the leaf. You can see over here in a Ziploc bag the amount of water that has been captured by the leaf. And I have just kept this Ziploc bag for half an hour. So all of this water is being transpired out. And this sort of creates a suction force all the way to the top. And that is how... Um, the, the xylem sucks the water up. To demonstrate transpiration in plants, I have over here a simple setup. I have red food color here, I have blue and I have green. They are very dark because we put in a lot of food color. If you want to try this at home, uh, put in a lot of food color, the better, the more the food color, the better. Cut your stems short and then we dip the roses in this. Make sure you have white roses so that the color is very easy to spot. I haven't trim the leaves because most of the transpiration happens at the leaves this is what this is how all of the water wave water is going to evaporate and that is why the flower will be thirsty and suck up more water so we are going to see in a while what happens to the flowers after being placed in these respective bowls The next kind of transportation that happens in plants is transportation of food. This happens from the leaves, that is where the food is actually made, to all the other parts where the food is needed. Uh, for this, we have phloem. What we actually do with the phloem is active transport. This is not something that means the cell actually spends energy. It uses up its ATP to transfer the phloem up and down. Phloem is made up of living cells. The structure of the cells are like seed legs. Again, it's a tube and you have a cell membrane over here the membranes on the top and the bottom are sieve like to allow the permeability it's not completely like a tube uh, the phloem cells are living but they do not actually have their own cytoplasm or their nucleus they have a companion cell where all the cytoplasm is there which provides the nutrition to this living cell and the nucleus is also accompanied in a companion cell the phloem cells don't have nucleuses of their own or the cytoplasm because this would interfere with the transportation of the food so it's kept as tube like as possible and the companion cells are at the edge of the cells so we have two vascular bundles that's the xylem and phloem responsible for transport in plants the xylem is made up of dead cells whereas the phloem is made up of living cells. The xylem is thick, it is made up of lignin and cellulose. The phloem is thin and made up of only cellulose. Xylem is impermeable, it does not allow solvents, solutes to come inside or outside. The phloem is semi-permeable. There is no cytoplasm in the xylem. The xylem transports water and minerals via transpiration and the phloem transports food molecules via active transport. The direction of flow is only upwards in xylem, whereas in the phloem it goes both up and down. 
So that brings transportation in plants to an end. Please go watch the video on osmosis and diffusion. Please see how roots take in the water for their nutrition and that should give you a whole understanding about what's happening in plants. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.